Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and this is my channel and today we are going to be doing a video on how I've been manifesting my future apartment aka I've been buying stuff for my future apartment that I do not have. So So today I wanted to do a video on how I've been manifesting my future apartment. If you've been watching in my vlogs, you've seen that I've been touring different apartments, different luxury apartments in, in Atlanta, just different apartments period because I do understand that life is a journey, not a destination. So I understand that there's levels to this shit, okay? So that um, you understand that sometimes you can't go 0 to 100 real quick. Sometimes you may have to start off at different apartments so despite all that I've been manifesting my dream apartment and I've really been working hard and I know that inflation is really high and apartment prices are really high which is one of the reasons why I have not like moved out yet but while I am at home I really want to be taking advantage of this time and being intentional with my money and just doing that so I've started to buy things for this future apartment my dream apartment so every time I get paid I buy I take $20 out of my check and I go to some store it could be home goods Ikea Burlington I go to anything that sells home decor or home items I even get stuff from Amazon and I buy something for my future apartment so in this video today I'm going to be showing you how I do that how I, what I've been buying and what I already have and also um, how I manage what I have so I don't buy it twice and like I just told you how I budget my money um, so that I can be able to buy things like that so um, I'm going to start off with the haul first because I feel like that's what everybody really wants to see first of all um, and then we'll go into the other specifics about how I do it so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know if I'm going to go through everything because there's just so much stuff, but I'm going to start. Okay, guys, so we're in my, my like, in my third bedroom and my home right now. And this is where I keep all of the stuff that I've been buying for my apartment. Um, and so right here is everything that I've been buying for my future apartment. It's three black bands worth of stuff. And so we're going to kind of go through a couple of the things because it's just so much stuff in here. I'm just going to be honest, there's so much stuff in here. Um, so you guys saw in one of my vlogs, I bought some pillows. So these are just, um, these are the pillows that people are actually going, that I'm going to be sleeping on. These are the pillows for my mess, for my bedroom. So these are the pillows that I'm going to actually be sleeping on. And they are from the brand Tommy Bahama. Um, and I got these from Marshalls. I got these from Marshalls. And then I got this one, which is kind of like that, you know, you have the pillow you sleep on and then you have the decorative long pillows. This is kind of that. It's cooling pillows. And these are from the Beauty Rest Platinum. I got these for $29.99. And I got these for, how much did I pay for these? I also got these for $29.99. Um, and I've just, I just have them taped up because I don't want dust and stuff to get into them so yeah that's that so I have these two bases I got this one from Goodwill um it was like what I think it was like three dollars or two dollars it was three dollars and nine cents so yeah well I actually got it for free because the employee actually ended up like giving me all my items for free that day if you saw that vlog so yeah I got this and then I went to another, um, I went to another thrift store and I got this, I also got this vase right here and this one was, I think this one was four bucks. And these vases, I got, these vases, this vase, I saw at Ikea for like 20 bucks and I just thought this one would be really beautiful. Um, and so I just, I, the vases now are just so expensive. So I just can't see myself paying for that. So I just got it from the thrift store. I also got the cedar mop. I have the cedar mop, the one that you kind of like, the famous TikTok one where you kind of like press it. And I'll insert a picture. But I have the cedar mop. I got it from um, Amazon. The next few items that I have 
that are like all this stuff right here is recent pickups so i recently picked up this avocado holder because i love avocados i love eating avocados in the morning so i ended up getting this i also got this um sifter that because i love french toast and baking and stuff so for powdered sugar and stuff like that so I got that and the avocado was $2.99 and the sifter was $3.99. So a lot of stuff that I've also been picking up is decorative pieces. One thing that I do to help me figure out how I'm going to decorate my apartment is I create a vision board. Um, so I have a vision board that I'll kind of include right here that is kind of like my inspo to what I'm trying to accomplish with my space. And so when I'm going out shopping for things, I'm really trying to find things that match my inspo. Um, I really have a really good memory and I have a really good eye for things. So I remember everything that I kind of bought um, but yeah, so that's how I kind of think about things. And one of my tips is don't buy things based off of who you are right now. You know, like right now I could like pink, but when I finally move into my space, pink is not my color. I think it's trashy. I think it's ugly. You know, not to say that I do think that, but I'm just saying, you know, you grow. So I would say is try to get things that are like minimalistic or not minimalistic but they are neutral that you can still add into your space even despite you not really loving the color anymore um so i would say that because you are going like right now i'm in this black gray phase right now that honestly i really feel like i'll stay in because i'm not really one of those girlies that likes like a white couch like i'm never gonna sit on that you know um so i i'm really into this black gray wood type aesthetic right now so that's what i'm going for but before when i started this journey i was really into gold and green and stuff like that so you see how much changed and you'll see because i actually have a lot of gold stuff that i don't really mind because i still love gold and i still am going to incorporate it but that is just like a little tip to tell you so i ended up a while ago i think it was like months ago I ended up finding this vase at West Elm. It was on sale. My mom actually got it for me. Um, and it was on sale for 10 bucks. It was originally $59. And the reason why it was on sale is because it's actually chipped right here. But that actually doesn't bother me. I feel like it adds character to it. And if anything, I can always like paint over it. But I actually really love this color. And I don't hate that it's chipped to me. It just doesn't bother me. So yeah, I got this vase and it was $9.99. The next thing I got was some stuff from Home Goods. I got this kind of like bath bath bamboo organizer. I got just two of these things. These are like little jars where you can keep Q-tips and um, like face swaps. And my goal is to kind of do like two of these on one. So I have another one. So it's going to be two on this one tray. But if not, I can put like my jewelry and stuff that I wore that night onto this little tray. So this is the aesthetic for my bathroom. You know, I told you black, this bamboo wooden. So I got that. And they did have the same style in this. But I really wanted to break it up because I really don't want it to be all matchy matchy. I really want to curate a space for myself. And that's why I really have been enjoying this journey of buying things for my future apartment now because I'm able to curate a space and I don't feel like I have to hurry up and rush and buy everything because I'm curating a space that technically I don't have yet but um, it gives me the, the time the space and the money to be able to curate the way I want to in the way that I'm envisioning it and that's why I keep looking at different apartments so I can get a vision of different layouts in the area that I want to live in just so I can have an idea of like that and I always take videos as y'all can always see in my vlogs of me taking videos of these apartments so that I can go back and watch them and remember what the space looked like so yeah I just really love that I also have been buying candles because my I want my space to smell a certain way so I have this black oak and kumquat candle that I got from home goods and it just smells like a fresh space this is going to be a bathroom candle so that's why I got it it's very fresh it just smells good it really smells good it just yeah so I got that like I said I got another one of these little canister things and I also got a toothbrush holder too the next thing I got is just a sink strainer 
I also got a soap holder for like my facial soap. I bought a soap dispenser too. Then I just have another candle. This one is from Beck Sniffs and it is the leather and oak moth. And it's just, it, to me it's more manly. But I feel like that's really, like it smells so good for like the bathroom. So I got this candle because I immediately smelled it and I was like, oh my God, I want to burn this in a bathroom. So I got it. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Home Goods recently. And then I got some stuff from West Elm. So I have these um, wine glasses that I got from West Elm. These wine glasses, I've been using them, but I think they were like 10 bucks. So I got these. I also have some champagne flute that I got too. It looks look like that. I recently got some of these cups. My thing is, is that with my cups, because I create so much content with cups like coffee in the morning and stuff like that, I didn't even necessarily get a set of cups. I've just been buying like two sets of cups. So like I'll get two sets of this style, two sets of that style because I also know that I use my space to create. And so for me, it's important for me to be able to create different things, different moments with different items, but in the same space. So... For me, I don't. I didn't just buy a set of a cup. I just bought that. So I have two of these West M cups. They were ten bucks, and I thought these would be really cute. And so for the wine glasses, I did get sets of stuff, but I only got two sets of everything because, yeah. But I, I'll show you why I did that. So that's everything that's on top of it right now. Yeah, I'm not going to go through everything because it's just so much stuff. It really is. Um, what's in here? So in this one, I just kind of already started packing away things that I don't really need. I do have a bath tray that I have been using now, but it just looks like this. So in this container right here, so I have some decorative pillows from Ikea. They just look like this. I have three sets of these. So yeah, I did get some stuff from Ikea. Then I just have some to-go containers. I have some to-go bowls. I have some of these too. I love Ikea because it's so affordable. Then I have some candles too. Um, and the reason why I have those candles is because I bought this as a decorative piece. So the candles will go in here like that. I have a scale. I have these napkins that I got from West Elm. They were on sale um, for like the dining room table. I also have these cocktail glasses that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, because I also, I, I've been creating content around like cocktails. So I already had got these for videos. So I just, it just made sense to, you know, also get them for my apartment. So that's what I did. I got these margarita glasses as well from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond recently a couple months ago during like after Black Friday they had a lot of their glasses on sale for $5, 15 dollars 20 25 it was like tiered. So I got these shot glasses. I really been trying to find shot glasses that I liked and I really like these. So I got these for like 5 bucks. And then I got these old fashioned um, glasses too for like 10 bucks. And they came with like um, a silicone ice mold right there, it's like a little ball. From West Elm, I also got these bowls. 
Um, from Home Goods, I got some of these. And then for Christmas time, which is what I also do, whenever somebody is trying to give me something, I always try to ask for something, like at least one item for my future apartment. So my aunt for Christmas, because she was my secret Santa, she ended up giving me these bottles that I'm going to be using for um, like my coffee bar. So she got me these. It just looks like this. For my coffee bar. So yeah, that's really all the stuff that I'm going to show because I really don't want this video to be so long because there's still like two other bins like I have a measuring, I have a measuring cup, recently bought a sifter from Ikea, these little stackable bowls that I got from Target that'll be perfect for like little um, sauces and stuff. And then I also have these glass bottles for like cleaning. I have this pizza pan that I got from Pop's Shelf. I have this little thing that's going to help my blankets and stuff in my living room. That I'm probably going to, no I'm going to keep it gray. I have, I have this broom that I bought from Burlington. If y'all saw that vlog. That was around my birthday. I have this light that I got that I'm gonna put in my living room that I got from an estate sale for 20 bucks. That originally is priced for like one something. I saw that on, on Facebook Marketplace. I have a tea kennel. A tea kennel. So as y'all can see, I have a lot of stuff that I've been buying and we really didn't even scratch the surface because I still had like another tub to go. Um, I really just didn't want this video to be super super duper long. Um, so I'm just going to include some footage that I have of me going through everything. Um, so you can see like how much stuff I have but I've really been like actively doing this. Every time I get paid, y'all see in, me, in my vlogs, I'm like I gotta go get something for my apartment or sometimes I'll order it on Amazon or sometimes I'll just save the $20 which is how much I spend and then I'll just take it later on and use it for when I go for the next pay period. I may add it on to the other for the next pay period $20 so now I have $40 to spend. You know it just depends and really at this point like I have a little stuff to get like I have some more stuff to get like I'm gonna get a new bed because I'm not taking the bed that's in my room right now. I have to get a couch and stuff like that so how I've been combating that side is I have a high yield savings account that every time I get paid takes a certain amount of money out of my account every time. Right now it's just $5. I'm going to just be honest. It's not that much right now. But I have it and it takes a certain amount of money out of my account. And then it puts it in a savings account that I really don't see that allows it to build um, interest on. And that way I put that money aside for like it's just a savings account that I'll use. For when I eventually move out, I also have a separate a savings account um, that is with my Fidelity that I put money in, and I I save in that one a little bit more aggressively, and because I know it's building a little bit more interest than my high yield savings account, I also invest my money into the stock market. So there's just a lot of things I've do, I've done on the back end to make sure that I'm also saving for the things that I have not yet gotten, the bigger ticket items. Um, so yeah, the thing I wanted to talk about is how do I remember what I bought? Because as you guys can see, I have a lot of stuff in here that I have purchased already. So one of the ways that I remember what I have is through a Google spreadsheet. Every time that I buy something, I always input it into my Google spreadsheet. So let me show you. So the reason why I use Google's, uh, Google Sheets it's because it has an app on the phone that I can download and look at immediately when I'm in the store. So if you look on my phone right here, I have, um, oh, it's not, not LinkedIn. I have a Google Sheets right here. As y'all can see, I have Google Sheets and I just press that. And then I press apartment spreadsheet. And then I'm able to see, so this is, this is everything that I've bought already. 
as so y'all can see and this is the stuff that I feel like I still need and so the stuff that I bought I'll have excess by it and sometimes if I can't like if I feel like I'm not gonna remember what it looks like I always put like where I bought it from so that can help jog my memory or I'll put like what color it is and stuff like that so um as you guys so this helps me because when I feel like oh my god did I buy that already I'll go to my spreadsheet and I'll look and I'll see what I've already bought in, and then that will tell me that like yeah I have already bought it so that's how I keep up with everything that I bought so I don't lose track of it and how do I know what I need to buy I just look up like apartment spreadsheet apartment checklist or um or I also view a lot of apartments so I'm looking at what they've put into these apartments to like decorate them um my mom always tells me like make sure you get this for your apartment um and then yeah I just look at apartment spreadsheets stuff like that and I just put them down and I buy it from there so yeah um that's basically like how I've been manifesting my dream apartment y'all and I just really want to say like just be intentional. Be intentional with what season you're in. If you're manifesting an apartment and you feel like, you know, sometimes I feel like, man, is my dream apartment ever going to come to me? And I truly believe that it is because I always tell y'all that I'm living my dream life and I'm manifesting my dream life and I'm actively pursuing that. Um, so I'm always trying to be intentional with my time and how I'm spending it and I'm always trying to be intentional with my money and so I've made so many TikToks about this whole process and I have got swarm with comments like over 3,000 comments of people telling me like they are so happy they did this when they were trying to move out because it really helped them not have to worry about spending so much money first and last month's rent turn on the utilities and trying to furnish an apartment take this time while you're at your mom dad granny's house and start buying the stuff for your future apartment so that you can already have a good amount of stuff before you move in now if you decide that oh i don't want this anymore i want something newer then so be it but what i always tell people now what i always try to tell people is while i'm doing this i'm never being cheap with myself so i'm never trying to buy like stuff from walmart no no offense to walmart like if that's what you want to buy buy but like i'm never trying to buy stuff cheaply just so i can say that i have a lot of things i would rather be able to buy good quality things so that I can be able so that I can have good quality stuff in my apartment that I don't have to replace because I always tell you guys is that you want to be able to buy good quality things and not have to replace it then buy something that was cheap for your pockets then that you have to that you had to replace three four times it's just not worth it so try to make sure that you're buying stuff of quality if you don't if you can't get it now save and put it to the side and get it later don't feel rushed my perfect my favorite times to buy things is during the holidays when a lot of things are going on sale black friday especially um fourth of july like sales like that like big holiday sales where i know they're discounting things that's my favorite time to go in and try to get things that i've been looking at like lately i've been looking at keurig and so i've been trying to wait for like the best price and i know like around fourth of july is when they're gonna have them on discount so that's when i've been waiting so i've just been trying to put my money aside or plan my money for that so that's what i would tell you guys um anything is possible so don't give up don't don't feel like oh my god because sometimes i feel like that oh my god i'm collecting all this stuff and i never know when i'll use it but i know that it's coming so just be patient be patient with yourself be patient with the universe as they prepare your manifestation and just keep working at it and keep chipping away at it and everything will work out for you i promise you it will so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you have any questions or you want to see more of the stuff then like this video and I will definitely do a part two and we will really get a deep dive I guess into everything and then I'll also show you guys like how I go shopping like we can make this a whole series but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one bye I was able to take I was finally able to take everything out so this is what it looks like I was literally going to buy another one of these I didn't even know I had already bought it if you see this is everything i have a broom right there that i just got y'all saw me in the other vlog i got this lamp from an estate sale and i fell in love with it they were almost closing and i got like 20 bucks for it so don't sleep on estate sales um 
and I've just been collecting things along the way. So it's nice to see everything out. Oh, 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 o